What's up, Facebook? Rob, it is uh, Friday morning. I'm in the office, and I uh, wanted to make a wanted to make a vlog. Um, got cut off yesterday, so I wanted to go ahead and kind of finish everything that uh, I wanted to say. Um, I'm not sure if you saw the video, but yesterday we uh, received our single largest donation, City Fam did, of five thousand dollars from Nordstrom. Uh, thank thanks to uh, the thoughtful act uh, by one of our members and leaders, Jenny Quinn, who uh, has a corporate giving program where she works her place of uh, employment, and she applied for that. And because she volunteers so much, we were able to uh, qualify for the maximum benefit, and we received a check for $5,000 yesterday. So um, it really couldn't have came at a better time. Um, it's almost exactly the amount of money that we owe, um, so it'll get us back to uh, a place of even and give us some re relief some pressure so anyway just shared that yesterday and and um, just excited about that uh, but I did want to go ahead and kind of tell you about some other exciting things that have happened um, in the last uh, few days so one of those things is on Wednesday we met with some people from the governor's office uh, they came to the emerging technology center where our office is and wanted to learn more about CityFam. We had reached out to them. Somebody connected us with them and said we should talk to them. We did. They were uh, intrigued by what we do, and they came out, and, and they were just amazed, to be honest, when they learned about it. And uh, they want to make a webinar with us, and they want to put us out to their network um, to share with, uh, with people what we're doing. And they really said, they like, we haven't seen anything like this. And... Um, you know, these people specifically were from uh, Governor Hogan's um, kind of task force for opioid addiction. And um, some of you that probably have seen my videos know that I've lost several friends in the past couple of years to opioids. Um, so it's something that I'm passionate about. And um, while I don't want to be, I don't want CityFam necessarily to be known as the opioid um, group you know, opioid addiction group, it definitely solves that problem in addition to others. Because when you don't have community, um, you know, a really close group of friends that give a shit about you, um, that manifests itself in a variety of ways. And addiction is just one of them. Addiction to drugs, alcohol, um, you know, it could be sex or porn or whatever. Um, you know, I, I firmly believe that a lot of the people that are on Tinder uh, are on there because they're lonely, you know, and that manifests itself, um, you know, that that presents problems down the road, uh, uh, another unique set of problems like broken homes and other things. Like I've said before, when you date out of loneliness, it's the same as going to the grocery store hungry. You get something that you don't want, right? So what we, I know the antidote to a lot of this, especially the, the drug addiction, opioid addiction is community. It's love. It's, um, you know, getting people to actually care for each other, right? But it's hard. You know, community is not easy. It's hard to live in relationships with people because no one's perfect, and we hurt each other, right? There's a, an analogy of these porcupines that, um, you know, in, in the dead of winter, they get hit with this winter storm, and the only way for them to survive is to get close to each other, to so they can share heat, but when they get close to each other, they prick each other with their quills. And some of the porcupines, you know, didn't like it, so they moved further away, and they end up dying in the cold. And that's, it's like, so they decided it was better for them to just kind of accept the little, you know, the, the, the injuries from their, their neighbors and, and so that they could survive. And that's, it's so true in relationships, because when you live in close relationships with others, you, you hurt each other, because... You know, I'm not perfect, you're not perfect, I'm going to step on your toes by accident, and you're going to offend me, and we just got to get through it, right? And that's kind of what we're promoting at CityFam is, you know, doing life with other people um, that are headed in the same direction. I, I go to a boot camp um, on, at 5.45 in the morning. Shout out to Be More Boot Camp, Casey Music. Love what you guys do. Um, it sucks, you know, it sucks getting up at five o'clock in the morning and going to the gym and gasping for air, you know, while it's still dark out. Um, but you know what makes it tolerable? That my friends are there doing it with me, right? It just makes it easier that they're there. And it's the same thing with when you, be, you set out to become the best version of yourself, 
it's a painful fucking process. Let me tell you, you have to make a lot of painful decisions. But when you're with a group of people that are making those same decisions that are going with you, it becomes it becomes doable. And that's what City Fam is. It's just people headed in the right direction, supporting each other, loving each other. You know, if you're moving, I'm going to show up. If I'm sick, you're going to give me a call and maybe bring me a bowl of soup. You know, like that's what it, it's about. And when people get off and they don't have that, it, it creates problems, all kinds of problems, right? So we want to we want to be the solution to that. And how we do that is by socializing and serving. We make it very practical for people to get involved and then for, for them to get their friends involved. So, you know, they saw it. The people from the governor's office saw it. They loved it. And um, we're just excited, you know, just to, to keep working. And, you know, we put some gas in the tank with this check for $5,000. And uh, it's just going to enable us to work, you know, um, it just motivates us to work a little bit harder. So anyway, um, tomorrow night, got a big Halloween party at Sir Duke in uh, Fells Point, the old get down. We're going to be doing um, a VIP party from 9 to 11 for all of our contributing members, champion level and higher. And uh, if you're not a contributing member and you'd like to come to that, that VIP party, which will have a two-hour open bar and food and all that, um, it, you can purchase a ticket on the City Fan website and still come. And then at 11 o'clock, we open to the public and we'll have a costume contest and um, just some Halloween games. We're gonna be doing something called Dare Pong and just some other fun things. So it um, should be cool. Tomorrow night, nine to one, Sir Duke, it's the old get down in Fells Point. The following Friday is Renegade. Uh, we're gonna be at Muscle Bar right around the corner in Harbor East. And uh, we'll be celebrating the birthdays of several of our um, leaders, Kara Dembski, Ingle Baldwin, uh, Lori Lockamy, Paul, I don't know how to pronounce your last name, <laughs> sorry, and myself. So uh, we're going to be doing, you know, typical Renegade ex food and drink specials, but we'll, we're going to be doing a rock band contest. So I don't know if you guys have ever played rock band. I haven't. I've seen it. But we'll be doing a rock band contest, and we're giving away a pair of New Year's Eve tickets to the winner. So uh, side note, the reason that we do an activity at all of our Renegades, you'll notice, is because it gives people something to do besides drink, right? Because I've been sober for five and a half years, and sometimes I get bored in a bar, so it's fun to do karaoke or play cornhole or something else, so alcohol isn't the focus. So that's why we always do a competition of some sort. Um, so, you know, this should be a good time, whether you participate or watch, it's definitely gonna be funny. So uh, that's Friday, November 3rd, and then we have a big volunteer project on November 22nd at the Baltimore Convention Center. We are partnering with the Goodwill, we have 100 spaces reserved to feed 3,000 people with special needs and disabilities. Uh, I think we have 94 or five of those spots filled already, so there's five spots. You can go on cityfam.com and grab the last five. If you want to join us, we're going to have a big after party at Luna Del C right across the street, courtesy of our sponsor, Fidelity First. Thank you, Dan Eubanks, for sponsoring the event. He's going to pay for all the food for all our volunteers. So um, sign up. It's going to be great. Nothing puts you in the spirit of Thanksgiving like volunteering trust me i, I know because i've done it and it's, it's awesome so um so excited about that and then um what else i guess that's about it last but not least um if anybody's watched this this to the end um looking for a beach house or a uh big cabin in the month of january um to do a city fam leadership outing so if anyone has access to a place like that that would sleep like you know 15 people or so um please inbox me i'd like to know i mean i'm looking for a donation um i can give a tax write-off uh, but we want to do a, a leadership outing for all of uh all of our leaders within city fam because they bust their ass day in and day out and we want to um you know reward them and so looking for that if anybody uh, has owns or has access to a place like that that they'd be willing to donate i would love to uh talk to you so anyway that's it thanks guys for believing in us thanks for all the love talk to you later see you